So Mediterranean's the map choice from PK. Um, going with the all Zeus lineup this game. I think this is usually PK's um, home map. I've seen him play on it quite a few times, so I think it's usually them who picks it. So, same lineup for GDM. And then their Ranos, Ra, um, Zeus. So Mediterranean, um, fighting for water is the big thing here. Um, if you can win water cleanly, then it's going to give you a huge advantage. Um, the only thing you got to watch out for is land positioning. You don't want to overcommit to water, and then next thing you know, your opponent's got your four, our third town center on land, and then you're fighting down a town center all game. That's how you lose it, even if you win water. So, got to strike that balance, and then. If your opponent gives up water and goes for early town centers on land, you've got to realize that and either pressure them um, or take your own town centers. Early bolt going out from Mista on Teal. I wonder if we could see another two bolts trying to absolutely cripple Teal's economy. Yep, here we go, I'm assuming. Yep, there's one. Okay. So I guess I missed the first bolt, but I'm guessing all three were coordinated to be used on TL, so TL losing three villagers that early in the game, uh, TL is going to be extremely far behind. Add in that he's got another villager committed to building an early second dock and house, then that's kind of just even more um, inefficient. That villager would have been better off gathering resources, um, especially with the loss of other villas. So Teal is going to be extremely far behind this match already. So that might even be enough to give PK the win on water. Um, Teal is going to probably be so far behind that he won't be much help water. So if they can fight water three versus two, and then also potentially utilize three restorations, then. Um, PK could be looking at a clean water win. And with a clean water win, I'd expect the game to finish pretty quickly. Nothing too surprising from PK. I think they all have practiced a standard Zeus build for this map, so I'd expect them to all advance at almost the exact same time. Poor Teal. Not only did he like get far behind to start with, but he's got extremely bad fishing spots as well. Um, Green's got two packs right near his base. Even Purple's got um, two packs right near his base. I guess Teal has two relatively close, but after that, Teal's got like nothing. The sh fishing ship out in the open like that is just gonna get picked off instantly once PK advances, so... Teal finds another pack back there that'll help him, but... The fact that he's still making ships at this point I'm just getting his temple now. Ooh. So, four. Yeah, this is going to be something like a six minute classical from Teal, which on water in a team game um, is just going to lose you water. <laughs> I've learned this many times from experience with my inefficient water builds that if you advance too late, especially in a team game, um, you just can't catch up in production. So it's going to lose you water and your teammate water pretty quickly. 
Now it's not TL's fault that he's six minutes. He got three villages bolted, which is gonna slow you down significantly, obviously, but uh, nonetheless, the late classical is probably gonna hurt his team on water significantly. Which was PK strategy, obviously, with the triple bolt planned on him. Early heroes coming from Mista. I guess he feels he's got a good enough economy that he can... Because that Odysseus is 200 um, wood, so that's basically two arrow ships that he just spent on the, getting the hero, early hero out, so... I think what he plans to do is put pressure on land. Use the Minotaur um, and the two heroes and try to pressure it red if he doesn't get any land army early on, which he isn't. Red does have the three oracles here in a defensive position, which could end up saving him. He could always Valor those if he needs to. Okay, so fast aurora coming out of purple. I'm like, why aren't they winning the water on teal side? He was so far behind, and then I look, and purple's got no ship, so I didn't know if he was going early town centers on land, but no, he's going for the fast heroic with scalas, which you don't see it that often. I kind of wish I saw it more, but at the same time, the reason you don't see it is, um, honestly, it's probably not the best strategy. Um, as you can see, Berserker is going to get knocked off his fishing while Teal's or while Purple's going fast rook rather. Bit of miss micro here from Teal, going to lose three ships. Um, but as a result of Purple going fast rook, Berserker should be getting knocked off his fishing. Some poor micro from Yellow and Teal's, um, allowing Berserker to stall two versus one, but Berserker should lose all his fishing as a result of Purple going fast rook and then. Um, by the time he's heroic, there should be enough arrow ships out for his opponents, where if one of them just gets the um, heroic fleet upgrade, 200 food, 200 wood, 15 favor, that increases ship damage against myth units, um, that'll completely counter the scalas. So seed ships, I guess, could be helpful, but... Um, again, seed ships wouldn't be worth losing. Your teammate losing his fishing. So, very nice restoration here from Mista. Um, extremely nice. A lot of times you'll see people, it's a 3 vs 3, but people um, will always burn the restoration on their own ships only, so... Um, so it's kind of disappointing how often you'll see it used for just one teammate um, as opposed to using it in like a team fight like Mr. just did there where both him and Berserker benefited from it. Mr. losing most of his fishing as a result of coming over to help Berserker, so um, the scale is around her mass as well as seed chips from purple. We'll have to see how GDM reacts. Mr. still is... Um, Steel made it red for the most part, even with going to help, so Mist has been winning water on his side. I haven't been following the land harass, but Mist is about to take down a citizen hero, which would be huge. Got it! So, the fact that Mist is knocking three of Red's villagers off of wood, and then if he can find these other four villagers, um, I think that land harass for Mist has been paying off and is the reason why he's winning water so heavily. Up to the top here, Teal and Yellow still struggled to push Berserker, um, two versus one. Just checking to see if we have a heroic fleet coming. I don't see, okay, Yellow's got heroic fleet being researched. The problem with your GDM at this point is Red's completely lost water on his side. Um, Mista knocked him off the 
wood completely. Red's running around with his villagers doing nothing. Um, so with purple being heroic and red being knocked off water, teal and yellow are going to be essentially fighting a three versus two. On water, so... I'd prefer to see them take second town centers and land at this point and realize water is a lost cause. Look confused, yeah. Alright, Mist is regrouping. Much. I guess he was probably microing on land. So, Mista forward building on his third. I'd like to see Mista grab the fourth of red eventually. You know, red's going to be playing defensive quite a bit, so... If Mista can get up four town centers to two on red, then... He should be able to make quick work of them with the Greek versus Aranus matchup. These scales are just so strong against docks, especially once they get a second head that doubles their damage. Docks also can't attack the scales, so... Um, At this point, they've lost water, and they've cancelled production, so that's good at least. I don't see any production accidentally left on auto queue or anything, so... On top of that, TL taking two town centers on land, as well as yellow. So, even red as well, so... Wisely played by GDM, they're taking the right steps to make their way back in the game. I think they could have given up water a bit earlier from Teal and Yellow's perspective once they realized Red was struggling so much against Mista, but... Uh, their biggest problem right now, I think, is just going to be the serrano Zeus matchup. Without taking any advantage of the Rano's, um strength early on, as the game goes on, Greek just becomes so much stronger than Elanian, it's not even going to be fair, so... I think that's the... Th Matchup to watch is going to be here on the right side between Mista and Red. This is another wise thing that Yellow's doing. Um, for any newer players, once you do lose water, whether it be a one versus one or team game, um, if you're overwhelmed significantly in water and still have some arrow ships remaining, the best thing you can do, rather than just fight and trade against ships that their your opponent will eventually delete because it's wasted population, send your ships across the map and try to pick off as many of your opponent's fishing ships as possible. So Red gets his third up, so... Um, Mista wasn't overly aggressive on land. It's fine, even a stalemated matchup as the game just goes on. Mista's gonna have the advantage, especially having one water and getting the economy from that. Purple's been heroic, so I'd like to see him get the heroic fishing ship upgrade. It just... Um, plus 40% efficiency and then uh, increased carry capacity, so. Hopefully, purple gets that soon, because it's a great eco upgrade. Bit of raids here. Where's Mista's army? Okay, he's got his army up there, just a little bit out of position. I think part of the reason Mista didn't run out and pressure this town center is as Greek, um, your units are just so much stronger in general than the Lanian units. Where, um, so your only real weakness potentially would be getting outnumbered, so by pushing out early, Mista could have run the risk of getting outnumbered. Whereas if he just waits, um, 
plays passively and maxes out his army then. Once he's got a maxed out army, there's nothing Red's going to be able to do to stop him. So Purple's got a giant siege ship army here. Um, with both his teammates being fine on the sides, I'd almost love to see Purple go a early mythic. Don't see it coming. It's getting fortified town centers first, which is often a sign that he doesn't plan on going the fast mythic, but um fast mythic and then use seed chips to at least take out Yellow's town center. I think there's only one town center in water range for GDM, so uh, they kinda lucked out in that. Usually you'll have at least two minimum on this map in water range. Just a pushing out on red. Problem for red is that if he takes any eco damage, which he has already lost to Vil, had two knocked off gold. Mist is just with the water. Um, his economy is just so strong, he's just going to keep spamming units non-stop, so... I missed where that... okay, up here. Teal realizing Fred was in trouble. Decent shifting sand, I think he got seven archers, the hero, and a hippie con. Yeah, Red needs to back up and try to regroup as much as possible. His problem is there's really no Atlantean counter for hops. In classical at least, I know Arcus are extremely good against them later on once the Atlantean player gets heroic, but at least classical wise, which Red still is, he doesn't really have an effective counter. Purple just stalking this town center, waiting for the chance to get mythic and get that seed ship upgrade and then that town center is just going to drop. Red's gold's wide out in the open here. If Mystic can actually spot this, Red's going to be completely screwed. So up to the top here, GDM looks good. They've got the upper hand. Okay, thought I heard Underworld, so... I hate that Underworld use. I raged about it in a game last week where, um... Using Underworld just to connect your base to your teammates, especially when he's not even under any pressure, is just a waste. Um, that's just laziness. There's no reason you can't send a couple villagers um, forward early on to build your production. Especially if you're the middleman and the teammate. Um, do exactly what Purple did. Just send a few villagers early on to your teammate side that you plan on helping fight and then build your production there. Okay, Purple didn't even need Mythic to take out this town center. I'd like the tower spam from red, that'll help delay um, Vista a bit, but Purple's still looking at half the units of Mista, and as Mista um, gets heroic and mythic, it's just gonna snowball. I like this push from yellow and teal, but without any siege, I don't think they're gonna be able to break this town center. Mason's coming out from Berserker as well, so it's just going to make his buildings even harder to take out. So we still have Underworlds from Mista and Berserker as well, so... That leaves them lots of possibilities for um, double teams or sneak attacks. Yellow is also playing down a town center now as a result of this town center being on water. Tornado comes out from TL. 
not the biggest fan of that tornado, and the reason why is um, it didn't get any of Blue's army. I guess he wants to take it out, but um, without support, it's not going to take down the town center. You're better off pushing in, getting, drawing Blue's army in, and then casting tornado on the army and town center. Okay, yellow retreated to his underworld and is now going to help green out. This green's struggling to hold off Mista, especially as he gets the heroic infantry out. The third hero as well. See, again, with the underworld, yellow <laughs> did it from his base and now he's still walking. Even putting an underworld here and then connecting it to red, that's a completely fine use. If you want to use underworld in a defensive manner, um, use it to connect both sides of the map and then you can double team on the fly, but using it in your middle base way back here doesn't really help much. Obviously with yellow gutting, having his full force down to the right now, um, teal's gonna get pushed back by purple and blue. You also saw the Horus come out from Teal, which, um... He skips Osiris with the mummies to counter the Colossi. I think that's an extremely, um, questionable decision. Now, GDM has no way to stop the Colossi spam, so... I think PK will realize it. Once you get the upgraded Colossi out and spamming those things, I mean, all you've really got are the um, one Greek mythic hero is the only thing that's even remotely going to be effective against all those Colossi. Ra doesn't get Nephis either, so he doesn't have the strong priests, so... I think Teal's just gonna get run through by Colossi spam shortly. Yellow's now kinda isolated to this right side. I hope he's not retreating to go help Teal. <laughs> yep, he is, so. In about five minutes from now, Yellow will make his way over here to help. That's if the underworld's even up by then. <laughs> Okay. The C is, I don't know. It's like you gotta use it, but... GDM's in su such a bad position at the moment that I don't think anything can help him. Fest is coming out from Mista. Um, usually you see him go Hera a lot, especially against Atlantean players, so. Surprised Mista didn't go Hera and just lightning storm Red's army and try to take out the town center. Rook fishing from all players, good to see. Confused as to where purple's going with these seed ships. Caught way out of pos or out of position. You can come back, but purple should have had those seed ships in position to take out that town center right away. Because once the town center is taken out, um, blue can then take it. Five-headed hydra. <laughs> So we see a lot of titans coming out. Looks like yellow actually is going to get his titan up. Problem is, titans aren't that effective against Greek. If they get their masons and architects for their buildings, um, then get some colossi and heroes and siege beating on the titan as it runs around, then um, 
the Titan's really not going to do much. Greek players don't have to really invest a whole lot into units specific to kill a Titan. They can just use their general heroes and Colossi and cost effectively deal with the Titan. Whereas an Elanian would have to convert all his units to heroes, which um, is economy draining. The Greek player doesn't have that strain, so um, Greek as well as Egyptian are probably the two strongest at dealing with titans. Vortex coming out from red here. Extremely nice. Okay, so counter ceasefire. Nice ceasefire from Eris, because... <laughs> Myth unit just knocked all the villagers out of way. Titan finishes from purple and yellow. The other thing that Ceasefire does is it allows Blue to take this forward town center, which is going to allow him to pump out a few more Colossi as well, so very nice Ceasefire from PK. What is Mista up to? Oh, pumping out. Yep. Pumping out the Myrmidons, and he's getting his mythic upgrades as well, so... Red's got classical upgrades, so... We're about to see a slaughter in a second from Mista on Red. Fully upgraded Greek units against classical upgraded Atlantean units is typically not pretty. Red gonna do a lot of damage to Berserker's economy here. That's 30 something villagers that are just gonna die. Where did Misty use his underworld to? Did I miss it? So. Okay, Vista used it to the back of the base here. It's probably not the best place in the world to um, pour it into with your all infantry army, as Yellow's got quite a few talks. It's gonna take out this back town center, but I think he's gonna get cleared up. The flaming arrows from Yellow's allowing him to take out the underworld, so. What this is going to do though, okay, what makes this worth it for um, PK is it's going to allow them to win the Wonder Race. Berserker is also able to come back and save his Titan Gate. Yellow uses his Titan to clean out um, Berserker's forward. I missed that. Did the two Colossi somehow kill that wonder? Horribly confused. I thought the wonder was half health. I The Colossi killed it, I'm amazed. Um, the other thing, I guess, GDM could have deleted it once they realized they lost, but typically you'll um, still finish it just in case you do manage to kill your opponent's wonder. Then you win by default, so... I guess Mista was able to finish that off. And now what Mista could have done before that underworld is simply just attack Red's forward town center and pretty much kill him. Colossi and Siege also taking out Red's other two town centers, so... This is where Atlantean really struggles in team games in late game. If you don't get an advantage early. Uh, late game there's literally nothing you can do against a Greek opponent. Another port in from red on blue's titan. Problem is I don't he doesn't have like the siege to kill the gate. I would have liked to have seen some of the myth units. I guess he doesn't have the gold or favor for it. Favor requires town centers, which red is lacking at the moment. So with just melee units, they're gonna struggle to take down the Titan Gate in time. Ok, 
good aspect of it, he's killed a lot of Blue's villagers, but um, with the fishing economy all game, and then hopefully, I don't see it, but I assume Blue also has decent trade, or at least should. Um, he'll have plenty of economy with the fishing and trade at this point in the game, where the bill losses aren't going to be that critical. And Red's pretty much tapped out completely. Um, with the Greek upgrades, um, Mist is going to be unstoppable against Red. I do see the Devil Titan coming for the Wonder though. And not a huge response. What happened to Purple's Titan? This is actually potentially If GDM can take out this Titan Gate, that should make things interesting. Lou really just I say if Red had one more vortex of units or he's out of vortex and he's out of units. Ooh, this is gonna be close. I increase villagers. Come on, Teal, you gotta be microing. Ugh. I actually Teal should have been able to get there if he microed correctly. They still might get there. This is gonna be close. Really, with just slightly better micro, GDM could have gotten to this Titan and stopped it. Which would have been huge, or not really that huge. Red's dead at this point, but, um. Why it would have been good is with the two Titans, if they stopped this Titan, then you'd have two Titans with full HP and an open wonder like that, so. Um, GDM should have been able to take out that wonder. Their problem is that they don't have anything behind it. Yellow's wonder just got killed again. So even if they did get their wonder up, um, the game's still over. PK's got it. TL's still not microing his Titan. <laughs> So, not much really to say at this point. I'm just waiting for GDM to resign. What could have made this game really interesting is if Mista didn't go and kill Yellow's original wonder. Had um, GDM even just slightly lost the Wonder Wars and then they microed correctly and killed Blue's Titan. Um, then they could use both their Titans to easily take out the wonder of PK. Which then would have resulted in about a 4 minute timer now, counting down for GDM to potentially win the game, but... Um, pretty much none of the scenarios that I just mentioned played out like I <laughs> said would have been interesting, so... <laughs> a ton of seed chips from Red, like all his population in it. like to have seen the seed chips earlier from um, GDM because PK did have town centers and water range as well so getting out hammer ships to defend yellow's third and then even and taking out PK's water range town centers earlier would have been wise
So at this point, I guess GDM's just gonna wait for the wonder timer to count down. Don't really know what they're planning on doing. As far as map goes, uh, it's debatable how good of a map it is. I personally find it frustrating a lot in one versus ones, in that um, because the choke points on land are so narrow. Say so team games, I actually think are a bit better. I think one versus one, it can be even worse, where you can literally choke off a side of the water with one wall. At least in team games, the sides are, because the map's bigger, the sides are a bit more open, so... It allows for a bit more room to operate on land, but 1 vs 1 on this map can be extremely frustrating, as it's so easy to choke off your opponent. So even if you are extremely far behind, you just need to spam a bunch of buildings. And then you can hold the choke points on the sides, where normally on an open map, if your opponent had room to operate, So I guess the only thing that does for team games at least, you usually see a lot of Zeus play on this map, so the Underworlds come into play and make it a bit more interesting. I think without Underworlds, you'd get some extremely boring matchups on this map. So at least teams that play it typically favor a Zeus lineup, because um, Zeus, is, Zeus is strong in general, and then the Underworld factor is extremely helpful on this map. So I think PK actually had two town centers in water range, as opposed to GDM only having one, so... Would have liked to have seen GDM exploit that fact earlier on. A minute 20. have too much to say on this game other than let's get it over with. Um, I guess it's going to be a one door win for PK. I don't think they're going to finish off all the buildings and units of GDM before the wonder time expires. So, um, But this outcome is expected. Again, the problem in team games I know a lot of teams have Uranus um, players in their team game lineups, but especially on a map like this, I really am against it because the later the game goes on, regardless of player skill, the Uranus is pretty much always going to lose that matchup unless he can get up a town center and land early um, on an even town center matchup. The Uranus is just going to be the weak link in the game and usually lose the game for their team. So, I'm kind of surprised people play Arenos lineup so heavily in team games, especially on this map, but I think part of the problem is some players only feel comfortable playing Atlantean. So they stick to it in team games where the strength isn't as great as 1 vs 1, where you can raid and pressure your opponent a lot more, which is the strength of Atlantean, the early game pressure. So I think that pretty much wraps up Division 1 um, in terms of playoff seeding. VK, MG, and PK will be getting in as the top three seeds. I'll have to double check how like the battle for the number one seed and buy plays out. If we have some downtime, I'll look at that um, and try to figure that out. But um, I think this matchup, the 2-0 win for PK, will pretty much eliminate GDM from playoff contention.